Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Debbie, and if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. So I would like to take a second and say hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. It means so much to me, and welcome to another video. So today's look is this one right here. I am super excited to show you guys how, well, what palette I use, but you guys, I'm pretty sure, already seen the title and that's probably why you clicked on this video. So yeah, I have a brand new palette that is the Morphe 35G Bronze Palette, and you guys, if you guys wanna see you know, what I think of this palette and how I created this look, what colors I used, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so we're just gonna jump right into the video. As you can see, I have my brows filled in, I have my eyes prepped and ready, and I'm gonna show you the products that I used on my brows and my eyes. So the for the brows, I did go in with my favorite. I do go back and forth from different products. So today I did go in with my BH Studio Pro palette. This is for my eyebrows. And you guys have seen me use it plenty, plenty, plenty of times. Now for the eyes as a base, I did go in with this from NYX. This is the Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Beige. I have to say that this is the next best thing wait did i say that right the next best thing to the max soft ochre paint pot it is super duper less expensive from that mac one and it's really good the only thing that you have to do with this is set it and what i usually use to set my concealer or whatever it is and now this um, is my favorite. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I always, always use this. I even use this with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, even though you don't have to, because I feel like with that, you don't have to set it because it's not very creamy. It's a really good texture as an eyeshadow base. But with this one, I did set it because it's a little bit it does crease, put it that way. So that's the reason why I did set it and I'm just gonna apply a little bit more right here. And we are just gonna jump in to the palette now. So I'm super excited for the palette today because I have been waiting. You guys have no idea, I have been in touch with so many people just to get this palette, which I don't even understand why it became such a big issue for me to get my hands on this palette. It's just, it's crazy, but I ended up getting it at Ulta. They ended up settling it for me or whatever. What I, I don't even know, but I was just mad at myself because I saw it when it first came out. I was at the mall. I saw it. I was like, I'm not going to get it just because I have so many palettes, but I was like, you know what? A week later, changed my mind. I was like, I want it. What happened? Sold out. Yes, sold out. Can you believe it? I can't. I knew it would be. But I finally got my hands on this baby and I'm super, super excited. So look at this. This is completely different from their typical black um, packaging. It's very like springish, summerish. That says the 35G bronze goals from Morphe, of course. And it's just super pretty. It's definitely very vibrant and very like spring and summer ish. Now that I open up this palette, look, 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 look. Oh my god, I absolutely love brand new palettes, especially fresh out the box. Like, oh, look at this. So gorgeous. Oh my god, and these shades are just like perfect for every single day. I mean, I don't see that many matte shades in here, but that's okay because I have others. I can use my bronzer or whatever, but I mean, it has definitely enough matte shades in this palette. So I'm super excited. You can definitely create so many looks with this. You can go from a simple eye look to a nice smoke, uh, glam to smoky eye. Absolutely excited to try this, you guys. So, so excited. Um, what do you guys think about this palette? Do you, th do you guys think it's just like a eh, whatever kind of palette? Or did you guys pick it up? Are you getting it? What are your thoughts? Leave it down below. I would love to hear your opinion on this eyeshadow palette. So. All right, so as you can see, I did apply a little tape just to help out with the look. I am gonna go in with my Morphe M441 brush. And for the first shade, I'm gonna grab Sandy, which is this first shade here. And I'm just going to apply that right in the transition area. 
And this is a very nice shade so far. It applies very nicely. But don't worry guys because we are going to layer these matte shadows and see how well they perform together. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit more. And don't worry if you get it on your lid because we're going to go all over the eye with these shadows. We're going to fix it and everything. I don't know what I'm doing, but obviously I'm doing a neutral look and probably something glam, maybe smoky. I don't know. We shall see. But just know that eyeliner is definitely involved in this look today. So definitely grab an eyeliner. And this shade is perfect for like an everyday shade. Um, now I'm gonna go on with this one right here. This one is called Naked. Interesting, Naked. I like it. Instead of Naked, we're gonna call it Naked. I love it. So I'm gonna go on with that one with the same brush and just go over the, la the first shadow. And we're just building this up, guys. And honestly, I knew these shadows so far would be really, really good because again, Morphe has never disappointed me. But we haven't gotten to the shimmer shades yet. And that's one thing that I'm nervous about. But we will see once we get to it. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called Record Temps. Interesting. I wonder where they come up with these names. I'm so curious. Well, I'm going to apply that right here on the outer V, and then stick it into the socket and drag it to the inner corner. So far, it's looking perf. Just what I envisioned. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the JH40 brush and I'm gonna go in with Heat Wave, which is this one in the end of the palette over here. And I'm just going to intensify the outer V I'm gonna focus that shade right there, bring it into the socket, and just defining the eye a tad bit. There you go. That's actually very nice. All right, so this is what we have so far. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to cut the crease a little bit. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to blend over here on the concealer end right here just soften it up so it doesn't look harsh before I go in with the shimmer shade there you go all right so now the thing is that there are so many beautiful shimmer shades in this palette like look at this it's so so hard to decide but I think I'm gonna go in with Let's see, mm, bronzed out and sunning or rays. I think I'm gonna go with bronzed out first, closer to the outer V, and then I'm going to slowly transition it into maybe like a nice golden shade. I don't know, maybe the glow on or maybe this one and then this one. I think I'm gonna do all three. I'm gonna do a rose gold a copper, and then maybe like a bronze. We're gonna just get very creative here. It doesn't matter, it's makeup, 
we will make it work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my MAC 242 brush and I'm going to grab a little bit of my Mario Badescu spray, wet that up a little bit, and I'm gonna go in with bronzed out, well bronze out, it's this one right here. So I'm going to grab that with my, ah, okay. So I'm gonna grab that with my MAC 242 brush and apply that right here, closer to the outer V. It's actually very pretty. Ooh, that's very pretty. It's like a red, like a copper tone. That's pretty. I'm gonna do the other eye just because I know I'm gonna go in with two other shades and I don't wanna have to clean my brush over and over. So we're just going to work that right here and make everything blend nicely together. All right, so I think we have that pretty even. Now I'm going to wet the brush again and I'm gonna go in with Sunning, which is this one right here, which is this one right here. And I'm going to apply that right here on the center. This is more of the an orangey copper tone as well. Ooh, this is very pretty. Super pretty. All right, and now I'm gonna wet my brush again. And I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna do Island Life or Glow On. I think I'm gonna go in with Island Life, which is this one right here. So this one right here is Island Life, and I'm gonna go in with that one. And then maybe I'll apply a little bit of Glow On, but this is the one I wanna use first. I don't know. All right, so I don't really see much of a difference on that one and the one I just finished applying. I don't really see much life in that one. It's actually very, very disappointing, that one right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab a different brush and this is just a BH Cosmetics brush. It's a smaller, very defined brush like this. I'm gonna wet it a little bit and I'm going to grab Glow On, which is this one right here from the palette. And I'm going to apply that on the inner corner, right here. And I don't see much of anything with that one either, which is, yeah, kind of disappointing, but don't worry, we're not done. Um, now I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right now with the palette. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and this is in the shade Trooper. So I'm just going to apply some eyeliner. All right, so now that I'm done applying eyeliner, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply lashes, and when I'm done, we will continue on with the face. All right, so I'm back. As you can see, I've removed the tape. I applied some lashes. These are the Kiss Number 11 lashes. These are just perfect because I wanna make sure that you guys are able to see the eyeshadow look 
and they are just the perfect, perfect lash for me, I feel like. So now I'm just gonna go in with primer. I'm gonna go in with this one right here first. I am gonna go in with a couple, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna extra prime today, just because I feel like this look is going to be somewhat a little glam. So we're gonna go in with this one. This is the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the, it, this one is going to blur and control the redness on the face. It's going to hide some of that redness. So I'm just going to apply this all over. And especially right here, I don't know if you guys saw, but it was red and now it's like kind of even with the skin. So as you can see, it does work, you guys. It really does. I like that one a lot. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this one. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is actually really, 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 really good. Um, it is going to fill in those pores for you. So I'm just going to go in and ooh, I'm just going to warm it up with my finger. And then I'm going to apply it in this area right here, which is where I technically have the most visible pores so I'm going to apply that and press it in so it fills in the pores I'm also going to apply a little bit on my chin as well And now I'm gonna go in with a third primer, you guys. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. This is supposed to prep, set, and refresh. So we are going to prep this face real quick. The bonus to that is that it smells so good. It smells like coconut, and I just love the smell of coconut. So, for foundation, I'm going to go in with this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 460, and I'm going to apply that with a damp sponge. And if you haven't tried this foundation yet, you guys, I definitely recommend it. It is such a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It definitely gives you that fresh look. Trying to make sure that I'm focused because I want you guys to see how good it looks. Like it just blends out really good. It's good coverage. Like I have to say it's full coverage for me because I really don't have much to cover. And I mean, I really do like it. It's super lightweight as well. And I don't like to apply too much on my forehead because I do go in with some concealer. And sometimes I don't use concealer, but I don't like my forehead to have that much coverage because it doesn't need it. Just a little bit of color, just so it blends in with the rest of my face, just like the neck. And now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with this one as well. This is part of the L'Oreal Infallible line. This is their concealer. It's a full wear concealer. And this is in the shade Cashew. And I really, really do like this. I have to say this is very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. It is so, so good, you guys. If you do not wanna shell out the money for that, this is definitely like the sister or cousin because you know sister would just be she would have money too but this is the this is the cousin okay she drugstore and she works very very well so we're just gonna blend that in with the sponge as well Go super careful around the eyeliner. We don't want to smudge that beautiful liner that I did today. My God, I'm so, so happy with myself. Came out so good. And I'm going to do the other side. Of 
Looks so good. So, so good. All right, so to cream contour today, I'm gonna to go in with this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Foundation Stick, and I have this in the shade Almond. And I'm just going to apply this right here on my face, and I'm going to grab a brush for the nose. So I'm grabbing this brush right here. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the product and start contouring my nose. I'm gonna grab my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to blend this as well, the nose area right here. I'm going to add a little bit of concealer on the bridge of my nose. Very, very, very careful with that. And I'm going to go over that with the sponge just so it gives my nose a little bit of definition. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over it just a little bit with the same brush. Just line it up and snatch it the way I want. Go over that again. Make sure it doesn't look crazy and crooked. I'm no expert, you guys, so just contour your nose the way you like it. If you don't need to contour your nose, then God bless you. But um, even though I don't think I have like a terrible nose, I feel like I have a pretty decent nose. Uh, so now I'm going to go in and set my under eye. I'm going to go in with the RCMA powder right here. And I'm using my Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush. This is the number F35. going to set around my nose, the chin, and the forehead, of course, because I do have an oily T-zone. That baby gets shiny. Don't want shiny. What a nice dewy look, but not greasy. Things sliding all over the place, you know? And now, I'm gonna go in with this one right here to con uh, to set the contour. I'm gonna go in with the Becca Chloe and Malika palette right here. It's so disgusting, I'm sorry, but I do use this thing, so. I'm gonna grab this brush right here. This is a Kenzie brush, and I'm going to grab the bronzer from this palette. I absolutely love this bronzer. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of this blush right here. It also has a little bit of a highlight, so it has like a blush topper over it. And I'm going to go and apply that right here on the cheeks. So it's kind of glowy and peachy. Definitely goes really well with the bronze eye and copper look. You see that? And we're just going to apply some highlight as well. So I'm going to spray my brush. This is the Morphe M510 brush. And I'm gonna go in with the highlight in the same palette and apply that right here. Some on the tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, 
a little bit on the forehead. We want a natural glow. I'm going to try to get some of that incorporated in the look. Gorge. All right, so we're gonna jump right back into the palette and finish off the eyes. I am gonna go in with more of the shimmer shades than the matte shades. I think I'm going to grab one matte shade, I'm going to run it on the lower lash line, and then I'm going to add the shimmer shades over top. So I'm gonna grab Sandy, and all I'm doing is grabbing a, what is this, a Real Techniques um, base shadow brush. And I'm just going to, apply, like I said, run that on the lower lash line. So it's super, super light. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that MAC 242 brush and I'm going to grab, I think I'm gonna grab this shade right here. This one is called Hey Vacay, and I'm hoping I'm grabbing some, I don't know. But we're gonna test this out. I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. Oh, that's pretty. But I think we can definitely intensify it. I feel like the shimmer shades aren't as um, shimmery as I want them to be. So you definitely need to go in with some spray. I'm gonna go in with this one right here, you guys grabbing as much as I can on the brush and I'm running that on the lower lash line lately I've been loving um, a nice bronzy shade on the lower lash line I don't know why I just feel like it looks super fresh and it just looks really good and youthful, you know? So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of Hey Vacay, and I'm going to run that on the other side. And now I think I'm gonna go in with this one right here. This one is called Tropics, and it's more on the orangey side. So it's more of like an orangey peachy tone and I'm going to wet my brush again actually you know what no I'm gonna grab a pencil brush because that's just what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and I'm going to run that right here on the other side so the inner corner into the middle just like that All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called Glare, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of Glow On. So both of the, so I'm gonna grab both of these together with the same pencil brush. I didn't spray it or anything. I'm going to apply that on the inner corner. I'm not super, super impressed with those two, but maybe if I spray my brush, It'll be, there you go. The pigmentation is there. But I'm not saying that it's terrible. I mean, like I said, this is supposed to be an everyday palette, so you're not gonna want a super highlighted inner corner like this every single day. Something super um, subtle is also good. I'm also going to apply a little bit of that on the brow bone, just like that. So you see, this is pretty subtle, like I'm not applying way too much. You see that? It's perfect. It's like the perfect amount of highlight for the brow bone. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Rich Brown. I'm just going to apply that on the waterline.
All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. I'm gonna add this one from Alani. I just feel like my face is a little flat. It needs a little bit more color. I'm gonna add this one. This one's the Bella Bellini. And it's just this shade right here. It's like a pinky and it has a little bit of shimmer. It's kind of, it has a little hint of coral in it as well. So just going to apply that right here on the apples, right there. Just drag it back. There you go. I feel like that's a little better. It just needed a little something. My face was just looking super, super flat. And I really do like this blush right here, even though, I mean, this is more of like a copper tone look, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go with it. Everything blends in super nicely though. Everything looks so good together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my favorite mascara. This one right here is my favorite, you guys. I, um, I did like the L'Oreal, what is it? Um, this one, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I did like it, I didn't love, love, love it, but this one right here, you guys, this is the Maybelline Lash, blah, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect. It is the best mascara ever. I have some stubborn ass lashes. And I have to say that this mascara has definitely helped. Look, look at that. Do you see that? Like this has definitely helped my lashes. Like these are my lashes, you know? Obviously not the top ones, but the bottom ones. Like, do you see that? They are gorgeous. It actually looks like I have some lashes. You know, I, I have like the straightest and not like the most fullest natural lashes ever. So when I found this mascara and I was like, oh my God, it definitely separates. It looks like it's like, honestly, it does fan them out really, really nicely. Like, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. I wanna show you the bottom, not the top. So this is what it looks like. It's so good, you guys. Definitely try it out. And that one I believe is a very, very, very black. Um, now for lips, I'm going to go in with this one right here. This is the Rimmel London Lip Pencil. Yeah, so this one right here, I'm gonna just line my lips. So I definitely like to do like a nice dark, darker lip and then fill it in a little bit. It looks kind of like an ombre. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this NYX Butter Gloss. This one is in the shade Fortune Cookie. And then that's just gonna lighten it up. It's also gonna give your lips like a little bit more of like a fuller look. All right, so now that I am completely done with this face right here, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water and set my face. All right, guys, so this is the final look right here. What do you guys think? I absolutely love the way it came out. I tried to use as many matte shades as well as shimmer shades, but again, I mean, the palette is full. It has like more shimmer shades than it does matte shades, so um, I tried to use as many as possible. I do have to say that some of the shimmer shades that I did go into, well, I did try, um, weren't very pigmented. I did have to spray my brush, but I did spray my brush off the bat. So I can't really tell you if this one, you know, the one I really, you know, went in with um, is pigmented just, you know, dry, you know, with a dry brush. But with a wet brush, it's definitely very pigmented. It applied really, really nicely. And I have to say that I really do love the way this looked. Um, what else? These two shadows right here, these are the ones that I used on the inner corner. I have to say that those right there are 
very, very subtle. You don't get too much pigmentation, but then again, this palette right here, you guys, it is supposed to be ideal for your every single day. These are going to be the shades that you go to on a daily. So if I know that you're not gonna wake up one morning and be like, oh, I want a really bright inner corner. And if you do, no, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, like, I know that I, you know, appreciate the fact that I can build this up to my liking. You know, I can do it very subtle or I can use it, you know, to this point right here, where which is what I have on my inner corner right there. And I really do appreciate that very, very much. So they're buildable. And um, so far, I really have no complaints. I really do love all the shades in here. I haven't used all of them, obviously, but I will be using them. If you want to see me create another look using just this palette right here, maybe something like simple easy everyday kind of look definitely leave me, leave me a comment down below i wouldn't mind doing that for you guys or if you guys want to see something a little bit more um you know more smoky or whatever it is that you guys want to see with this palette right here leave it down below um and i will try it out for you guys also um yeah, I mean, I really did enjoy the palette. I'm not going to lie to you. I will be dabbling into this palette more and more and seeing how the other shades work out for me. And I really don't see the palette being an issue. I really do like it, you know, so far. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, most importantly. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.